Are you happy? Do you enjoy the things that you do in life? Do you find life satisfying? You see, 90% of people don't. Or they used to. That young kid version of yourself who used to enjoy going out on bike rides, who used to enjoy reading, who used to enjoy spending time in nature, but you don't enjoy it anymore. No matter how hard you try and get back into those things, you simply just don't enjoy it. You're not happy. But there's a reason why, and that is because our young self, our child version of ourselves, actually knew what happiness was. Whereas you, right now, most of the people nowadays, when they grow up, they have no idea what happiness actually is. First of all, how are you? I hope things have been good and I hope you've been alright. Getting straight into the video, a lot of us get happiness wrong. We think that happiness is this formula. Work hard equals success equals happiness. You know, if I work really hard at cycling this bike or going to the gym or going into nature, if I work really hard to try and be happy again and enjoy the things I used to, and when I get success, I'll then be happy. But that's not actually true. The formula to happiness is actually happiness plus a positive mindset equals success. And the reason for this is because waiting for happiness to come around actually limits us. If we're waiting for the idea that happiness will eventually come to us, if we're working hard, it won't. We're constantly waiting for something that is in the near future. Whereas a positive mindset now, so you're cultivating a positive mindset now, will actually make you more happy, more motivated. Almost as if you're faking it until you make it. I read the book, known as The Happiness Advantage, and it basically goes over five key ideas to find happiness and enjoyment in the things that you used to do. But it doesn't just stop there, it works for everything. And I've personally gone through it and I've experienced this and I 100% I agree with the book. And I really do recommend go giving it a read. The first one that is, happiness is not a mood. It's a work ethic. Every time I sat down sort of waiting for happiness to happen as if it was going to come to me, it never happened. However, when I started doing things with a positive mindset, even if I wasn't positive, I just forced myself to have a positive mindset, more like a work ethic, I actually ended up becoming more happy. The formula to happiness isn't work hard success equals happiness. It's happiness plus a positive mindset equals success. The second one is viewpoint. I want you to ask yourself a question. I want to ask you a really in-depth question. How do you react to things? What is your viewpoint of the world? How do you react to situations? By changing your viewpoint, you can change your reactions and your feelings. For example, I was, you know, cleaning my bike. So I was cleaning my motorcycle. I was getting really annoyed. It was taking me to like two hours. I was getting tired. It's hot. It's super sunny, super hot. I was being pissed and I was like, oh, I just want this to finish. I was only viewing that it was a chore that I had to finish it. But then I took a step back and I remembered this book and I changed my viewpoint. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to view this as a chore. This is my motorcycle, my bike. I worked hard for it and I'm cleaning it to make sure it looks nice. I'm maintaining, maintaining, I'm keeping it, you know, I'm maintaining it. I love this bike. So many people would dream to have this bike. So many people would dream to be able to clean their bike on a nice sunny day. You know what? It's a pretty good sunny day. I'm, I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna take my time and I'm gonna enjoy it. Literally a minute ago, I was really annoyed at cleaning my bike, viewing it as a chore, but then I changed my viewpoint and my reaction to it and my whole mood changed in literally a minute. And that leads on to the third one, scanning. Try and scan for the positives. If you're actively trying to look for the positive in things, you'll experience something known as gratitude. You'll be incredibly grateful and you'll end up being incredibly happy because of it. But this is quite hard. This is probably one of the hardest things on this list because so many of us have a negative mindset. When we react to situations, we complain. A lot of us have a really negative set style of thinking. Don't worry, it's not just you, it was me as well. So literally just think to the back of your mind, the positives. Just scan the positives, look for the positives. If you're trying to read more, 
you know what? I'm really excited to get into the next story. I'm really excited to see the next page, how this story turns out. You know what? I'm going to read this book outside when it's sunny. I'm excited to do that. I get some sun into my system while you're going on that cycle ride. You know what? It's nice getting this big, fresh breeze. It's super, super sunny. I'm getting more fit. It's nice. Better than sitting inside all day. Number four, and that is view failure as an opportunity. Failure is something that we are all genuinely terrified of, and it stops us from trying many, many things or enjoying the many, many things that we're trying to get back into. Failure is a, a bitch to deal with. It's, it causes a lot of us to be terrified of it. Hello, fly. I would appreciate you getting out of my house, please. So view failure as an opportunity to grow. For example, you're learning a new trick on your bicycle. You fall. You hurt yourself. Oh, I don't want to go cycling out again. Then you quit. You don't enjoy it. No, don't do that. Get up. Where did I mess up? You know what? I messed up because I was putting way too much weight on this certain thing. And I fell. But you know what? I'm not going to do that next time. Brush off the scars, the bruises. We go again. You end up almost laughing at it. When I first started getting into skateboarding, there were so many times that I hurt myself ridiculously. You know, when I first went there for the very first day, I tried dropping in, which is where you go on like a, a ramp on the top of the ramp, put your board on the edge and you drop in and you kind of go down. Now, even from like a small height, the moment you get out there, it's terrifying. It's scary because you're literally trusting your board. <laughs> and it, it's really scary. And when I did it, I held my friend's hand. <laughs> not in a gay way. <laughs> not that there's not anything wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I held his hand, went down. Oh, okay. Let's go on the bigger ramp. Did it. Fell backwards as I went down and slammed my head on the, on the concrete ramp. Hurt like hell. And I didn't skate again for a week. Two months later, I attempted that ramp literally like yesterday or two days ago. No, it was yesterday. I attempted that ramp again for the very first time. I asked him, can you help me? And I did it. Not holding both his hands, did it with one hand. And then he said, all right, don't hold on to me. I'll hold on to you if you need it, but don't hold on to me. And I did it. But before I did it, I fell again, hit my head again. But I got up, I literally straight up started laughing. I was like, okay, yeah, I put way too much weight on my back foot and I fell backwards again. This is like last time. We both had a laugh about it, but then I tried again. I viewed it as an opportunity to grow. And then I did it. And then number five. The book actually says something else, but I don't... It hasn't really helped me that much. So I'm going to change it for something else, which has helped me. Which could hopefully help you. And that is nature. Nature is an amazing thing, and a lot of us don't take advantage of it. It is literally impossible to be depressed in nature. You know what? That's a bold statement and I'm sticking by it. It is impossible to be depressed in nature. If you're sad, if you're unhappy, if you're trying to do something, maybe reading or writing, and you just aren't enjoying it, go to the woods, a nice sunny day, sit down in the woods, and do it then. I guarantee you, you will enjoy it, and you will enjoy your time there, and you will not be depressed. If you're sad, if you're unhappy, I guarantee you, spend 30 minutes in the woods, and you won't be depressed. It's like bro science, I don't know why, but literally, I remember the very first time I went back into my childhood woods. I'd been living the typical 9-to-5 job, depressed, drugs, alcohol, I quit, I left, started turning my life around, and then I remember going to the woods the very first time, walking, it was about an hour, two hour walk, I got to the den, childhood den, and I remember climbing that tree we all used to climb and literally just screaming to the top of my lungs, I fucking love life. And I remember calling my friend, not even calling my friend, This I just sent him a bunch of voice messages. Like, I was literally, I, I, oh, what was it I sent him? I'm the most positive person in the world right now, I am so happy. You need to come to the woods right now, the childhood woods that where we built this den. And I sent him a bunch of photos. I remember I was the happiest I had ever been in literally a year from a thir spending 30 minutes in the woods that's how much of a difference it makes so i want you to spend at least 30 minutes outside in nature a day that is not a lot but those 30 minutes will make a huge difference you could be having the worst day possible a super depressing shitty day you woke up bad 
you had a bad day at school, college, family isn't getting on, go out for a walk, go to the woods, just spend 30 minutes in the woods, I guarantee you, you will feel so much better. And you'll actually end up wanting to spend more time out there. I hope this video helped you out, and I hope you've been good. I'll be creating a sort of platform, a community where you can write down questions, where you can ask for different video ideas. It'll be on the website school. I'll be creating this soon in the upcoming next few weeks, somewhere where you can all literally ask for video ideas, anything that I can help you with or other people can help you with. A full on community where you can just learn more from me. But for now, I haven't set that up yet, but I will be getting to it. But for now, I'd be really appreciative if you clicked on the video that's going to pop up in the corner here. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Oh yeah. Come here. <laughs> so, improve your